Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will discuss Ramsey Hunt syndrome. Ramsey Hunt syndrome is defined as an acute peripheral facial neuropathy associated with erythematous vesicular rash of the skin of the ear canal, auricle, and or mucous membrane of the oropharynx. It can also occur in the absence of a skin rash. This condition is known as Zoster sign herpety. Classic Ramsey Hunt syndrome is due to infection of the geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve, which is the seventh cranial nerve, and it is caused by herpes virus 3, which is also known as varicella zoster virus. Now, other cranial nerves might also be involved, including cranial nerves 8, 9, 5, and 6. Now, this infection gives rise to vesiculation and ulceration of the external ear and ipsilateral anterior two thirds of the tongue and soft palate as well as ipsilateral facial neuropathy. Now varicella zoster virus infection cause two distinct clinical syndromes. First is the primary infection also known as varicella or chicken pox. It is a common pediatric erythematous disease which is characterized by highly contagious generalized vesicular rash. After chicken pox varicella zoster virus remain latent in the neurons of the cranial nerve and the dorsal root ganglia. And second is the subsequent reactivation of the latent varicella zoster virus which can result in localized vesicular rash and this is known as herpes zoster. Now varicella zoster virus infection or reactivation involving the geniculate ganglion of the facial nerve within the temporal bone is the main pathophysiological mechanism of the Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. Diminished level of varicella zoster virus specific cell mediated immunity may lead to reactivation of this virus. Now the clinical presentation. Patient usually present with paroxysmal pain deep within the ear. The pain often radiates outward into the pinna of the ear and may be associated with a more constant diffuse and dull background pain. The onset of the pain usually precedes the rash by several hours or even days. Classic Ramsey-Hunt syndrome can be associated with the following. Vesicular rash of the ear or mouth in 80% of the cases. The location of the rash varies from patient to patient as does the area innervated by the nervous intermediates. It may include the following, anterior two-third of the tongue, soft palate, external auditory canal or pinna. Now the rash might precede the onset of facial palsy. Then there is ipsilateral lower motor neuron facial paresis or palsy. This is manifested as weakness on one side of the face that causes difficulty closing one eye, difficulty in eating that is food falls out of the weak corner of the mouth. Or there may be difficulty in making expression and making fine movements of the face. As well as there may be facial droop and paralysis on one side of the face. Other symptoms include vertigo which is a sensation of things spinning. Then there may be ipsilateral hearing loss in 50% of the cases and vertigo is usually present in those with hearing loss. There may be tinnitus, otalgia, headache, dysarthria, gait ataxia, fever or cervical adenopathy. Now facial weakness usually reaches maximum severity by one week after the onset of symptoms and blisters of the skin of the ear canal, auricle or both may become secondarily infected causing cellulitis. Now the staging. Several scales have been developed to quantify the degree of facial muscle weakness. Of those, the house pregnant scale is the most commonly used. This include stage 1 is normal, stage 2 mild dysfunction that is light weakness only noticeable on close inspection. Then stage 3 moderate dysfunction that is obvious weakness but not disfiguring differences between both sides. Then stage 4 moderately severe dysfunction. It is obvious weakness and disfigurement. Then stage 5 only barely perceptive motor function and stage 6 is complete paralysis. Now the workup. The diagnosis of Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is usually made without difficulty when the clinical characteristics are present. First is the viral studies. Varicella zoster virus isolation in conventional cell culture is considered the definitive diagnostic test. However, growing this in cell culture can be difficult and is usually too slow to be clinically helpful. Other tests include Zeng test, electron microscopy and polymerase chain reaction that is PCR. These are generally more rapid and sensitive. Then varicella zoster virus antigen detection by direct immunofluorescence assay that is DFA is also possible. 
Antibody determination on paired sera may be helpful in establishing the diagnosis by comparing titers at the time of presentation and a few weeks later. Next is the imaging studies. Structural lesions can be ruled out by a CT scan, MRI or magnetic resonance angiography. Gadolinium enhancement of the vestibular and facial nerves on MRI has been described in Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. Then other tests may include audiometry, it usually reveals sensory neural hearing loss in the high frequency ranges. Then unilateral caloric weakness may be present on electronistagmography. Electrodiagnostic methods such as facial motor nerve conduction studies, electromyography of the facial innervated muscle, the blink reflex, and nerve excitability testing. These all could add information regarding the extent of seventh cranial nerve involvement as well as the prognostic factors. Then is the lumbar puncture. Although this is not recommended in the diagnosis of this disease, CSF findings can be helpful in confirming the diagnosis. Now the risk factors for Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. This can occur in anyone who has had chicken pox. It is more common in older adults, typically affecting people older than 60 years. But this is rare in children. Now Ramsey-Hunt syndrome isn't contagious. However, reactivation of the varicella zoster virus in the patient can cause chicken pox in other people who haven't previously had chicken pox or been vaccinated for it. The infection can be serious for people who have immune system problems. So until the rash blisters cab over, patients should avoid physical contact with anyone who has never had chicken pox or who has never had the chicken pox vaccine, anyone who has a weak immune system, newborns and the pregnant woman. Now, complications of Ramsey-Hunt syndrome may include brainstem encephalitis, cranial nerve 12th involvement, meningitis, permanent hearing loss and facial weakness. Then eye damage, the facial weakness caused by the Ramsey-Hunt syndrome make it difficult for you to close your eyelid. When this happens, the cornea which protects your eye can become damaged. This damage can cause eye pain and the blurred vision. Another complication is post-herpetic neuralgia. This painful condition occurs when a varicella zoster virus infection damages the nerve fibers. The message sent by these nerve fibers become confused and exaggerated. This causes pain that may last long after the signs and symptoms of the Ramsey Hutt syndrome have faded. Then another complication is synkinesia. These are abnormal movements that accompany the intended voluntary facial movements. These may develop during the recovery from Ramsey Hunt syndrome and this occurs in 45% of the patient. Now the prevention. Children are now routinely vaccinated against chicken pox and this greatly reduces the chance of being infected with this virus. A varicella zoster virus vaccine for people age 50 or older is also recommended. Now prompt treatment of Ramsey Hunt syndrome can ease pain and decrease the risk of long term complications. Evidence from clinical studies indicate that starting treatment in the first week is correlated with the highest rate of improvement. Although treatment started later still had some benefit. Medications may include antiviral drugs such as acyclovir or femcyclovir. These often help combat the chickenpox virus. Then is the corticosteroids. A short course of high dose prednisone appears to boost the effect of antiviral drugs in Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. Then are the anti-anxiety medication. Drugs such as diazepam can help relieve vertigo. Then pain relievers. The pain associated with Ramsey Hunt syndrome can be severe and prescription pain medication may be needed. Now the lifestyle and home remedies. The following can help reduce the discomfort of the syndrome. Keep areas affected by the rash clean. Apply cool, wet compresses to the rash to ease pain. Take an over-the-counter pain reliever or anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen. If facial weakness makes it difficult for you to close one of your eyes, then take this step to protect your vision. Use moisturizing ear drops throughout the day if your eye become dry. At night, apply an ointment to the eye and tape your eyelid shut or wear an eye patch. Now the follow-up. After initiation of the medical therapy, the patient with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome should be seen in the follow-up at 2 weeks, 6 weeks and then 3 months. Now the prognosis. In general, prognosis is good for the resolution of symptoms. However, fewer than 50% of the patient have complete recovery of the facial function. 
Now, poor prognostic factors for good functional recovery include age older than 50 years, complete facial paralysis, and lack of seventh nerve excitability. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.